Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Bidum Studio Corner. I am XD. Welcome back to yet another video. Now, today in this video, I'm going to be making some Afro House with stock FL Studio sounds. Now, if you like Afro House, then this is your video. I haven't been making a lot of Afro House, you know, tutorials on this channel, but I thought I'd come back to it so you guys can also get some help as well. And if you were keen on trying the Afro House style, so if you like Prince KB, if you like KVK, if you like all those guys that make Afro House, worldwide then this is the video for you now before we get anywhere subscribe down below if you're new leave a like smash the like button do whatever you can to show support to the channel and let's get into this video now we're gonna start with the drums as usual we can start with anything if you want actually you know what let's start with something else let's start with a sound let's start with maybe a string just to give baseline just gonna drop our tempo to like 125 over here then we're going to go to instruments, orchestral, then we're going to get a string section. Let's see how that sounds. That's cool. Now we're going to add some keys. Well, this is stock sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to this typing keyboard to piano, and then I am going to select major chords over here so that I can be able to play chords. If I press the number keys, I have a video on that. You can check it out as well. Cool. We actually have our chords now. So I'm just going to record these chords in and make sure that we do not quantize anything. I don't want anything quantized. I want to quantize myself. And then we are notes and we have our metronome on and we can put it on song so that it records over here instead of just over here. Boom. There we have our notes that I'm going to select quantize all. over here fill that in and then cut out the extra notes that are on the sides here there we go now we have that sorted now we have the perfect loop. switch off that metronome now all we do with this string is now just follow just follow these chords, just follow these keys over here. I have no idea why this thing keeps giving me that tail. I need to change that. It's already sounding emotional just by adding that string. I can go further and kind of put chords. Let's add the string solo. we're going to do with this one we're going to kind of make it a drone note now remember we always use drones like just this one note that sustains through the whole track but with this one they're going to be moving in the chord but we're going to make sure that they are like really low but then they switch up it's not just that one note that just sustains the whole way so i'm going to transpose this like twice now. got that sorted now what we need is um, a nice xylophone 
So we can get a nice xylophone in Purity. Purity has nice sounds, actually. Like, especially with the GM normal ones. And then we can use maybe a kalimba. Oh, let's just do xylophone. Perfect, that was the right sound. Now it sounded really Afro and really nice sounding like, like it's really African. Now let's go to more audio. Matter of fact, let's go into the legacy drums, go into vintage and add the old bass drum. That's a popular one. Add that. Four steps.
now for some bass we can load us dx10 and then from dx10 we can use e flute and then what we're gonna do with e flute is we're gonna do the same thing copy our notes to give us some really low end bass so here we go add that there and just go back to half step move that back there Voila. Here we go. Let's add a few more sounds from purity here let's see if we can add like a sax sound I'll just use this tenor sax I was playing with my computer keyboard. No media around here.
sounds great and all, but I'm just gonna give myself more room in the track. I'll just duplicate the track more and then I can let it play. Then I'll just record what I was doing just now with that organ and then just put it down there. So this is another easy way to actually get to add these parts in without having a MIDI keyboard. I'm just playing my computer keyboard. So I'm, you know, no funny business. Okay, let's go. there's the notes now what I can do with this is I can leave it as is with kind of that humanly feel or I can quantize it but I want to hear it first before I quantize it and see if it's sounding fine like the way I played it but I I, I do believe that it's gonna sound like the way I played it okay switch that off sometimes you don't wanna make everything sound over you need that human feel that human error in there have a better organ sound um, I can use I can use the native in instruments B4 okay I need to transpose that up there we go let's take them to church let's take them to church That's it now this track is ready for you to have any vocalist that you want on there and lay down the vocals and it's a complete track you already have your lead over here a lead instrument that you know that they can actually follow that's the good thing about putting in lead instruments that when you have a vocalist coming in to the track they can you know kind of get a head start of a melody through the lead or melody that you have already in your afro track so i hope you find this very helpful and i hope this helps you create much better afro as you can see it's very simple it's i'm using mostly fl studio sounds and stock kits i could have done much more you can go so many ways with this but this is just an example of what you can do if you just have the right knowledge of how to make this music so i hope you find this very very helpful if you do leave a like down below let me know how you start your own afro tracks and what style like who which dj do you similarize your style to like i know i make a, a mixture of different people's styles but i want to know how you work on your stuff let me know down in the comments subscribe if you're new to the channel i am gonna post this flp down below in the link you can download it for free that's my gift to you i'm always giving out stuff on this channel because i believe sharing is caring and we're all producers we're all trying to come up and i'm here to help you guys so i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video stay creative i am xd and i'm out peace y'all